The courage of the husband strengthened the wife and in the end they were both martyred together. In 286 AD, Timothy and Mora were arrested after being married for only 20 days. They were brought before the governor, Arrhenius, because he heard that Timothy was reading the Bible to villagers nearby every night and he demanded that he turn over the scriptures so he could burn them. But Timothy replied, If a father would not deliver up to death his fleshly children, how can I give up my spiritual children the sacred word of God? Enraged by this answer, Arrhenius ordered Timothy's eyes to be burnt out with a red hot iron saying, The books will at least be useless to you for you will have no eyes with which to read them. Timothy's courage through the horrible pain so infuriated the governor that he commanded him to be hung by his feet with weights tied around his neck and wood stuffed in his mouth. The governor thought that he could persuade his wife to use her womanly gifts to overcome his resolution to remain faithful. Mora begged him to recant for her sake, but when the gag was taken out, he declared his determination to die for Christ. This so deeply impacted her that she resolved to follow her husband's courage. Mora's hair was then pulled out and her fingers were cut off, but as she was being tortured, she prayed for her tormentors. They were then both nailed to crosses facing each other, each comforting each other and praising God for nine days. As Arrhenius watched them pray for each other to keep their eyes on Jesus, he was moved. When one was weak, the other was strong as they pushed on toward eternity until eventually succumbing to their asphyxiation. Miraculously, the heartless Arrhenius later repented, became a Christian, and he too would then be martyred for Christ.